soms sak dan raak het my oorlog zo in die buite. Het is een akelige gevoel om by jou huis te wees en ek meen, een paar honderd meter van jou skiet hulle soos tweede wereld oorlog en jy hoor een goed klap en die partij kijk, ek ben eens in jou huis en klik het of iemand in jou erf skiet. En elke derde naweek, het liefst eenmaal in een maand, dan is het nou oorlog zo en dan gaan het nou boos. Five hour long late night running battle between illegal miners, police and mine security in the tiny northwest town of Orkney left eight dead on October 5, 2021. The gunfight is part of a deadly war being raged by criminal gangs across SA's goldfields, according to artisanal miner associations. The associations say these mineral gangsters are linked to kidnappings, human trafficking, child labor, and enslavement. According to National Association of Artisanal Miners Chairman Paps Latorka, 30 artisanal miners had died in Orkney in the past two months. There is a difference between artisanal miners and mineral gangsters. There is also mineral gangsters that are targeting our members. So our members are are, 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 are very, 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 very vulnerable to this uh, human, human rights violation. Sometimes they get marked, they get violated, they get harassed by these uh, criminal gangsters that are targeting uh, artisanal, or the, if I can say, that are targeting minerals of South Africa. It gets tough for our members when they work underground. Because sometimes when they work underground and then they meet, it happens that they meet with these mineral gangsters. They will, ha- they will hold them hostage and they will take their production and they will force them to work for them for free. Our local artisanal miners, they cannot even go to uh, these shafts that are abandoned, that are still uh, has a lot of production. It is hard for our members to go to work there because they are getting targeted and they are outnumbered by these these people because they are very, very uh, large in numbers. Illicit artisanal miners feel they have little opportunity for other work and are driven by unemployment and poverty. Uh, If I have a choice, I would not uh, do this because I am mining because of I'm struggling with a job, so I'm the one who put the bread on the table. I'm the one who uh, who take care of my family. Well, we are eight, eight, eight people. Uh, We get um, little and uh, we have to work every day because we get uh, just a a small gold. Sometimes, let me say, sometimes we get a gram, sometimes, most of the time we get points because of uh, we are working on the waste. This is a waste. One of my friends has been killed now. So if I remember, it was August, around August and September 2018. Uh, we were working, it was around around 4 o'clock in the morning. We were about to wash uh, our, our tools, the one we used to uh, get uh, the gold. Then those people, they are tigers and they start shooting immediately. Then we try to run away, they managed to shoot him and immediately he died at that time. That last week, uh, those shootings, they make me to remember what happens to me in 2018, which means I was, I'm very, very scared even now. About 2,000 illegal miners operate within the Dr. Kenneth Kowinda District Municipality, which includes the towns of Orkney, Stillfontein, Hartbeersfontein, and Clerkstor. There are an estimated 5,000 illegal miners in the Northwest Province, the majority from Lesotho and Zimbabwe. It is estimated that South Africa loses 7 billion rand annually through illegal mining. So they are trying to organize themselves so that they can uh challenge the government and uh seek to be legalized so they have a desire to be legal they want to pay tax 
they want to work in a proper manner, they want to adhere to safe health and safety uh, protocols. The challenge that we are having is that uh, the, 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 the large scale mining and the government itself, of which they are also the key stakeholders, they are not giving us uh, enough attention or, if I can say, enough help. They, they are not happy with the condition. They would, they, they, they would like the government to legalize and to open this shaft so that it can be, they can be regulated and be treated as a proper, normal, formalized uh, mine operation. Mining experts say it is imperative for the government to sign the draft policy on artisanal and small-scale mining into law if the situation is to be brought under control. The policy aims to regulate SA's illegal mining sector and could lessen unnecessary bloodshed.